That is the Solar Impulse 2 landing this morning at New York's JFK Airport. The plane is on an historic round-the-world flight powered only by the sun. Joining us are the co-founders of the mission, Bertrand Picard and André Borschberg. They are also the pilots. Welcome to you both. Congratulations on landing at JFK <laughs> this morning. Thank you. Your next step, this is, this is a fascinating trip. You are about to take this plane across the Atlantic. Tell us a little bit about the plane and that part of this trip. Well, it's a plane that flies only on solar power, no fuel, so you can fly forever yes. because you never need to refuel. So André flew five days from Japan to Hawaii. Now it's going to be four, five, six days, depending on the tailwinds, from New York to Europe. So you basically take turns piloting the plane, is that right? That's right, yes. We are really at the limit of the technology today. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to imagine that we have the time of the pioneers, like 100 years ago, where Charles Lindbergh were alone in the cockpit when he crossed America, when yeah. the, the Wright brothers did their first flights. Right. But how do you but do the sleep? Because so it's a new cycle starting. Yes. But it sounds like, I mean, you only, there are times when you have 20 minute shifts of sleep. How do you guys manage that sleep deprivation? We know a lot about it. So how do you guys so handle it? Because you're going to be going across the Atlantic. You're going to be up there for probably four days or more. Yes, I use self-hypnosis. Self-hypnosis. To be able to go into a very deep regeneration uh -huh. very quickly. Audrey uses yoga techniques. Mm -hmm. But it's a question of mindset. You know, when you board the airplane and you think five days, five long is going to be long, it will be very long. Yes. If you think it's a great experience, something fantastic, something special, yeah. something for you, it's completely different. Right. This is a big plane. You've got the same wingspan as a 747? Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Because you need to be extremely energy efficient. You know, this makes the characteristic of this plane so energy efficient that only with the sun you can fly forever. And this is the symbol that we had today when Audrey was flying over the Statue of Liberty. Right. You know, liberty, freedom, every century is something else. Mm -hmm. Fighting slavery, education, democracy, gender equality. And for this century, it's independence from polluting energies. Mm -hmm. This is freedom, clean technologies forever. It's amazing because it shows people what is possible. But yes. one of the things I thought about was weather. How does something like clouds affect you if it is all solar powered? Well, it does affect it, uh, but uh, I think we have to cope with this, we can cope with this, we can fly higher, we climb every day to 28,000 feet, wow. but it's part of the plan. Uh, we have a great team in Monaco who is like, uh, you know, the control center for NASA when they launch rockets. Right. They guide us, they, right. uh, they simulate, they forecast and they help us to get to the destination. Well, but we well, are at the limit today, that's for sure. Well, this plane is, has the wingspan of, an S, of a 747. It's, it's light as an SUV, am I right? Yes. So you're extremely sensitive to turbulence. Yes, we are. This is why we also ask for special attention from air traffic controllers, and uh -huh. we can really thank the FAA for what get, they have done for us. It's does fantastic. Does it get pretty bumpy you know? up there? What, I mean, it, it, it can, it can, but this is also why we take off at night, land at night to have calm weather. Right. So you guys have some really interesting gadgets up there just to help you make the journey as you'd expect, but I want to have you tell us about the inflatable hangar that yeah. you use. Mm. You know, we, we never know if we get to the destination we choose. Right. Yeah. We never know if we find a hangar. Yeah. And we need to protect this airplane. So we had to find a solution which is an inflatable hangar that we can assemble, disassemble in a few hours and transport to the next uh, airport, the next destination. But above all, in fact, this uh, inflatable hangar allows also, I mean, protects the airplane, but allows us to recharge it when we need, mm -hmm. when we land with empty batteries and we want to take off again using the sun as the only source of energy. You finish in August, am I right? Well, you know, it's an adventure. <laughs> it's an adventure. Okay. It's not a business plan. <laughs> okay. Smart Smart to God, that, yes. Bush, for, thank you both for being here, coming in this morning. Good luck on your trip. It's great to see you. Thank you. Thank we you. also thank need you. luck. <laughs>